Hi, so this will be uh, the continuation of the, what we started and it's about again our community and I'm going to show some stats because the topic of the talk was uh, success stories and uh, since this is the first year we we'll start to gather some stats in order to compile to see if we really are successful or if we not. So, um, Jan already presented very quickly what are our main um, uh, websites and places where we gathered. And um, for example, um, these are some stats about uh, this track. And uh, we had much more submission than last year. And if any one of you have uh, organizations that you want to present open source design, just contact us because we want to grow the community. And uh, it would be great to, to have some much more speakers. Bom. Uh, then this is the GitHub and uh, there are a continuous number of members. We will see next year how, how much we grow and uh, what are the uh, repositories we have. Our most successful rep repo is the job one. In the job repo, you can um, uh, make requests for designers to help you with your project. And uh, 62 contributors already uh, fixed things on the, on the website or uh, submitted requests for us to, to help them in some way with uh, interface design or, or with logos. Uh, we use IRC for communication, so uh, because we want to be able to communicate with open source, we're not using Slack, or and we're trying to use uh, <laughs> open. And uh, on average, there are 60 uh, users. Again, questions there, you can reach us, and uh, maybe this will be a more uh, synchronous channel to, to gather, and not just uh, once a year uh, at FOSDEM. Uh, and uh, Twitter is our most uh, used uh, channel and uh, in the last year we tripled our uh, tweets and we usually tweet about open source and design and uh, um, we have lots of followers and uh, this is how we, we, we keep track. You can use it. As Jan said, it's RSC because of the uh, length constraint so isn't, you need to know exactly wh where you can find us. And an open collective, uh, it's very new and we try to find ways to gather some money in order to print stickers and this is something that happens for all the open source communities finding a bit hard to, to reach funding and we have to have backers, we don't have any expenses currently, but it's very cool that uh, if we have some needs, uh, uh, we, we can uh, try to fix them with that. Um, well, and our website, uh, this is the only negative uh, thing we have uh, for uh, uh, the stats this year, and that is the number of articles. So we could write more and try to share more about uh, uh, designers that work there and about communities. Uh, in the gather of um, uh, events, we also have monthly meetings. So uh, you can also find, their, find us, um, it's first Tuesday of every month if you're interested. And um, on the jobs, um, so for whole, the whole period, we received 61 jobs requests and uh, they are still active 45. So we managed to, to close the difference and Felix will present some of the, the things uh, there. This means that uh, we are not that um, successful in fixing every request from every uh, open source organization uh, comes to us, but at least we're trying and we have some, some progress to show you in that, that direction. Okay, so I, I'm going to let Felix to show you a bit um, of examples of what we did in, in the past year. Is the mic? I need the mic. Yes. So, where should I put it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, um, where's the presenter? So yeah, we had so open source design, we love you. Like, uh, if you're an artist, open source coder, or even just like managing open source software, um, we, do we all love you, and we love onions and bees. I know it's not an onion, but <laughs> you're, you're gonna get it when I come to this slide. So um, uh, one success story was the Tor style guide. I mean, was it's it's still ongoing. Um, so uh, simply secure um, posted it on our job board that they need so, uh, someone for the for the, the Tor style guide. And Elio right over there, 
um, picked it up and he was eager to doing it. So he even uh, sent them an email. And what happened is that they didn't reply like for some time. But he said like, hey, I want to do this project. So he pinged them again. And when they replied, they said, it's a perfect match. <laughs> 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 and <laughs> so uh, what happened is uh, um, actually that, of course, he did the, the standard thing, right? He cleaned up the design, he did an awesome job uh, uh, cleaning it out, uh, looking for a nice font phase and really doing, doing awesome work. But it, it's an iterative process. So they have bi-weekly meetings. And they found out it's a huge project, a huge community. So it's not just about ju some logo. It's about getting all this together. And, and therefore, it's, it's nice to see that it's not just another logo, but a bigger process involved. And uh, speaking about it, it's like it was a paid job. And they even now started up a UX team for, for Tor. So actually, there, there is coming design into another open source project, which is, aw which is awesome. And Alien now will continue to work uh, with the guys over there. So this is a very nice success, I could, would say. Uh, a, pretty, a, a different kind of success would be the Open Farm mascot. So Open Farm is a project also on GitHub, and they started about thinking, hey, we, we might need a mascot for our project. Um, and there were some proposals, but yeah, it didn't come very far. So uh, Simon, who's also part of our community, said, like, I'm going to post a job on open source design. And then this guy found it on our job board, uh, Sam uh, Shitteden, and he is not part of our community, so he just found it on our website. And this was his uh, second proposal, <laughs> and it stuck, pun intended. Um, <laughs> so, so what happened then is, is amazing, because you can see now in really an iterative and open process over there, because they said, hey, we, we need some legs, right? It should be, we, sh we need some legs. But then mm, they, they don't look that nice. So do other legs, come on, let's do this. <laughs> and then they said like, okay, we have to work on the eyes. So what kind of eyes do we want to uh, use? And then still they were thinking like, okay, what, what's missing? Someone, so something's missing. Anyone has an idea what's missing? Huh? Maybe here? <laughs> so there's no transparency in the wings. So they made uh, transparent wings and you see the difference. It's, uh, it changed quite uh, much. Um, and, but the big thing is um, the, the community working on this. This was all in one issue. This one guy d doing most of the work, but he, he really appreciated all these people coming together and helping him um, doing this great thing. And uh, that's OB, the fine, uh, final product. And we have a new member in our community now. Like He's now part of open source design. Um, and that's, uh, that's great. So. Um, now these were like two very visual things, and I really advise you to check out uh, Belen's talk she gave this morning, but because it's not just about the fancy logo, it's not just about the visual stuff. Like we have so many, many experts here that can help your open source projects. Uh, for example, like doing new, complete new widgets or software uh, uh, structures there, or there there was this uh, proposal for re uh, for redesign uh, of the whole web page, so the architecture behind it and UX and. Yeah, visual, of course, as well. Um, so I would say that um, at open source design, our success is really that we connect enthusiasts like with the open source uh, coders and community. And, and that's what it's all about. Like We are a lively community. This was just this Friday when we met, com came together to have a nice, uh, uh, fun event. Um, yeah, and I hope you give us some feedback. And um, I think we have a little bit time of questions. Yeah, so thanks. No questions. That's all fine <laughs> as well. There's I mean, also a session at uh, 1650 where yeah. you can present your project uh, if you want, uh, I don't know, design feedback or if you want to create a job, job post on our uh, GitHub. Yeah. So if you need any help, you can contact, find us there. Or as I said, GitHub, I, I receive. Okay. Thanks. Oh, that's what kind <laughs> of design? Visual design, UX design. So it depends. Every developer uses his own tools. So I would say, of course, we like most of the designers here try to do work on open source. Like, um, so they try to use open source. I must admit, I don't use open source for all, uh, all of my work, but I try to to especially the stuff where it's about data, right? So uh, that's why I'm also. Uh, part of the design team at Nextcloud, so I really believe open source is an important step. Um, and there are options. That's the that's the thing. There are so many open source projects, even for visual design or 
UX designer or else. Yeah. For example, I, I think we should, do we have a list <coughs> for, for tools? I think we have a list for tools, right? Yeah, on the There's yeah. a repository. Yeah, so uh, maybe we have to put this out more yeah. so people find it. Yeah. You can have a look there. Yeah, if you want to contribute to our website or anything, like improving <laughs> like how we present stuff, yeah. you too. Yeah, <laughs> or it can also be inside the feedback, just like pop it over there. Yeah. Um, so we have a designer doing some work um, creating some assets for our software, um, and we want to share them with people. And I'm wondering if you can point to some good ways to do that, whether it be repositories of freely licensed artwork, uh, mm. specifically graphical assets, so like images for different categories. So finding the assets? Ah, okay. So we have a repository and it's called the resources and the. Uh, what was the question for the? Ah, yes, yeah, sorry. Um, the question was uh, how to get uh, design that's been designed for open source projects actually out there so others can still use it, right? And I think. You know about it, right? Yeah, so, so there's a repo. It's uh, called resources, and you you can put link there, or I'm even the, the sources for for the <laughs> <laughs> the logos or what assets you have. And uh, yes, you can use this community to. Uh, uh, because you specifically mentioned icons, uh, did you? Uh, there's a website called the Noun Project, yeah. and it's a it's an icon repository basically. Mm. It's it's also very nicely designed, and they uh, yeah have all openly licensed icons. And uh, yeah, it's also actually for any designer here who does icons, it's also a platform where you can make money off it mm. uh, because people pay for not attributing you. Mm. So it's essentially also a good uh, source of income for open source designers. Yeah. Other questions? No? Then okay. thank you so much and yeah. we hope we contribute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks.